Patricia Polacco was born in Michigan in 1944. As a young girl, Patricia's parents went through a divorce, leading her mother and brother to move into her grandparents' farmhouse in Union City, Michigan. Here she learned many life lessons from her grandparents and started to develop a love for books. I would have to say all of my books are probably based on family stories, but remember I was raised in a household where the old members of my family lived with us. And there was something wonderful about sitting at their knee. In 1949, Patricia's grandmother passed away and once again the family was on the move. This time to Oakland, California where she remained until adulthood. Here she was exposed to and grew a strong appreciation for people of many different colors, religions, and ideas. And they don't have the glory of understanding why other people do what they do and say different prayers and eat different food and perhaps even dress differently or look differently. So I think that's another thing literature, especially multi -literature, multicultural literature does, is it, it gives them an understanding that they, they otherwise are not going to have. They're not going to hear it in their own homes. So if they can read authentic stories and understand that the heart of humanity is the same. It doesn't matter how we're packaged on the outside. We're all the same. I think that's that, that does a great service to molding a child to be a citizen of the world. This is also where she met the teachers that changed her life. They saw in her what no one else did, intelligence and creativity. Suffering from dyslexia, she didn't learn to read until she was 14. You realize that I am a learning disabled student who grew up. I have dyslexia, dysnumeria, dysgraphia, and something called failure of sensory integration. And judging by the behavior I exhibited as a small child, I'm sure by today's standards, I would have been called high-functioning Asperger's. That's who I am. I didn't learn to read till I was 14. Didn't learn to do math. Still, though, I've got to say, I have, I have trouble with numbers. Couldn't write. And then I say to them, can you imagine how I felt? Because at their age, I felt stupid. I felt dumb. I felt pointless. I didn't even dare have any dreams. Why would I have any dreams? Because only, you know, dreams aren't going to come true for me. Her life was filled with constant teasing, crippling her sense of self-confidence. That's going to happen to you a lot. It's happened to me most of my life. There's going to be times where somebody is going to be really stinking and mean to you. When they are, you throw kindness back at them and then watch their face. They really don't know what to do with it, and you win. It was because of these amazing teachers that she was finally able to overcome her disability and learn that the world can truly be an amazing place. She went on to get a PhD in art history and began restoring art for museums. She fell in love and got married before becoming a mother of two children, inspiring her to use her love for art and reading. So she became a writer and an illustrator at the age of 41. She has been sharing her inspirational stories ever since. Patricia Polacco has had a life filled with difficulties, triumphs, successes, and amazing people. They've all helped teach her the joys of life, which she shares with children, especially those experiencing difficulties. Through her writing, kids can learn the same lesson she did. Everything will get better and you are special. In almost every book she writes, there is a young person who learns and interacts with an older, wiser person. Some other common themes found in her writing are the value of reading, the importance of a good teacher, the damaging effects of teasing, the importance of culture, and respecting people's individual differences. doesn't matter how different we are, there is something we can find that we have in common, and that should be the place that we start from, is understanding what we're, our commonality, and then from there, celebrating our difference.